All right, here we go. All right, guys, happy Thursday. Hope everyone's feeling all right, and if not, don't worry, we're gonna fix you. All right, guys, all you need is a lacrosse ball, golf ball, tennis ball, some kind of ball. We're gonna do some mashing in addition to other things today, all right? So everyone, let's start off with some brain yoga squats. Meet me at the bottom of the squat. Let's hang out here for a sec. Just breathe, just let your hips do stuff and relax. Think about rolling your shoulder blades back, pencil between the shoulders, keep that chest up, and we're just hanging out here, letting our hips sink down nice and low. You can play with your foot position here. Uh, maybe if you're someone who usually squats a little bit wide, this is a chance for you to try to improve your mobility with a more narrow stance, right? You can kind of scoop your feet in, hang out for a little bit, and just get a little bit more comfortable in a position that you might not be used to. So keep breathing here. All right, now let's get some movement here. So let's grab your left hand, grab your right earlobe with your finger and index, or with your thumb and your index, and then the same thing on the other side. Elbows up nice and high, almost like we're doing zombie squats, and we're just gonna stand it on up. We're gonna do a big inhale. Sit it on down, hang out for a second, and then exhale as you stand up. Do these at your own pace, not trying to break any speed records today, just moving and moving here. This is a really good opportunity to really feel every single inch of the squat, guys. Feel your quads, feel your glutes, feel your midline, feel your shoulders, even feel your feet. You might be barefoot or in socks. Think about clamping those feet down like you're a gargoyle. That's actually how we should squat when we're squatting heavy, so we're recruiting as many muscles and appendages as possible to help us move that weight. Keep breathing, guys. Crunch your knees. Everyone, give me one more, then meet me at the bottom here. We're gonna stay in the squat for a little bit. So we normally finish with this guy, but we're gonna start with it today. So let's get one hand up and reach. Hang out here, really try to get your elbow as close to your ear as you can, looking straight ahead. Imagine you have a dumbbell, kettlebell, small child, pizza, or beer overhead, whichever you value more. And switch to the other side. Keeping that chest as upright as possible. You can use your hand here on the ground to give you a little bit of leverage, kind of shove that knee out and really roll those lats into place for stability. And switch again. Reach here. And as always, guys, we should be breathing through the belly. That diaphragmatic breathing applies at all times, not just when we're lifting heavy. And switch again. Just get both hands down. Go ahead and rotate to your left, our right. Should feel a stretch in that oblique and lat. And switch. And last time, back over. And let's bring it back to center here. All right, challenge for the morning here. We're gonna do a single arm, or not single arm, double arm overhead squat. We're just gonna hold here. All right, ready, three, two, one, let's go. So reach it up and back. Imagine you have something heavy overhead. 100, 200, 300 pounds, whatever that is for you, try to make your grip as narrow as you can while maintaining that lockout and keeping those palms open. We should be feeling our lats here. Might be a little bit difficult, that is okay. This is how we improve our mobility. Keep breathing, guys. Give me five more seconds here. Four, three, two, one, stand it on up. Ooh, shake out those arms. Yeah, do a couple of shimmy, shimmy, on, shimmy, a. All right guys, let's bring those feet in a little bit closer together. Give me a big inhale, overhead. Crack that back, and then exhale, reach down for your feet. Ankles, shins, knees, <laughs> whatever you can grab. Hopefully you can get below your knees, if not your jaw. So breathe deep guys, in the nose, out through the mouth. Relax your neck, you should be looking directly behind you. Not the floor, don't even look at me. If you're super mobile, you can kind of walk your hands behind or even grab under your feet to give yourself a little bit of a deeper stretch. And let's go back. 
back to standing tall. Let's interlock those fingers and let's go to our right, your left. Feel a stretch on that opposing side and that lat. And other side. Reach it on over. And switch again. And one more time. All right, let's work on some balance. We haven't done this one in a while. Oh, oh. it's back. Yeah. All right, guys. Half Moon. My favorite. <laughs> Sarah's second favorite. I think your favorite is a straddle. No, wait. Which one do you fall over on? The, uh, is it the Warrior 3? I don't like... ever fall. <laughs> I never fall. I'm the most, no, great. I'm the most graceful person in the world. All right, guys. So, <laughs> so we're going to go to our left, your right. Okay, so we're going to reach down with your right hand. Try to let it touch the floor. Reach up that left leg and then get that arm up in the air. We're just gonna hang out here just for a little bit. You can have a slight bend in this knee if you need to, that's fine. Use your hand on the ground to help you balance. You should feel your glute on that side doing stuff, stabilizing, a little bit challenging. Try to have your palm facing towards us. They show me those armpits almost like a winner no crab squat. Three, two, one, stand up. All right, that wasn't terrible. That was terrible. All right, let's do the other side. All right, ready? Big inhale, find your balance, and shimmy to this side to feel those glute stabilization feelings. Ooh. Keep breathing, guys. Standing, we're gonna hinge the hip, lean forward, and reach like so. I'll show you from the side here. Put that knee back, slightly into this knee. Reach, elbow by the ears. We're just gonna hold here, just for a little bit. And once again, the elbows by the ears. Heavy overhead squat, handstand, whatever it might be that you relate to more. Lock up those elbows and reach. Find your balance with your feet here. Gargle your feet, guys. Use those toes. Three. Two, one, and stand. All right, we're gonna fall down. Winning the championship of life. <laughs> All right, guys. Other side, ready? Three, two, one, and send those hips back. Reach forward and find that leg. You might find one side better than the other. Probably whichever side you split jerk forward feels a little bit more stable. seconds guys and stand it on up and relax okay nice job we did it we got through the hard part all right guys let's go down to the floor grab your ball wherever it might be and let's meet our way down to the floor we're gonna start off our soft tissue fiesta here all right guys so let's start off with the booty because we just did a bunch of uh Butt stuff, haha. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, grab our lacrosse ball. Uh, let's do our right side, your left. So for these, you're gonna put it under your left glute. Your right foot is gonna become your anchor foot. You're gonna kick that left leg out to the side. And we're just doing some circles here, looking for things that don't feel so good. All right, might be in the front, might be in the back, might be everywhere. Once you find the least good area, you're gonna bend this leg up and then push it to the outside. Really try to make that knee touch the floor, really open up those hips and continue at your own pace here, breathing, exhaling as you push that knee out, inhaling as you bring it in. That's it guys, breathe deep. All right, guys, from here, let's extend that left leg. This one's gonna hurt a little bit more. Keep it in that same position. We're gonna pull this leg back. Feel a nice, oh, hello. Feel some stuff in your glute and in your hip. 
Try to get it back as far as you can and then extend. So think back and across the body, really reaching to the outside and then pushing it forward. You should feel this in your glutes, hips, lower back, maybe a little bit in your soul, depending on how your butt feels after Monday's lunges. Ooh. Let's do one more on this side, guys. Cool. And relax. Take a second here, let's get to the other side. I'm going to remove my shirt because I've become sweaty from the stretching. All right, guys, other side, same thing. So your left leg, our right, find the nastiness in your right glute. Remember, your left foot is now your anchor foot. We're circling, finding bad stuff. Once we found the worst of the stuff, hang out there, and let's do our little butter, butterfly stretch here. So bend that knee up, and then exhale as you push it out. Try to make that knee touch the floor, really open up that hip. You can even kind of push this knee to the outside to get a little bit deeper. There's no right or wrong in the world of self-massage. Do what feels good, but also kind of bad. Ooh. How's this one feeling this week for you? Not as bad? Uh, you know, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. You're not making but as I'm, much noise as last week. No, but I'm, <laughs> I'm really putting all my weight on it this week. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's sort of nice. You can yeah. kind of like relax on it. Yeah. It's warm. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, let's extend that leg and send it to the moon. Oh, a little tighter on this side. My left side is tighter than my worst side. Yeah, oh. When you're standing, do you find that you like put more weight on your left side than the right? Sometimes. I, I do. I, I must do. I must do. I must do. <laughs> uh, English. <laughs> no, but I def I've always had a, like an imbalance there. I think everyone is, because like it's just life. All it takes is all it takes is you like standing one hip like high. this yeah. for like every day for like ten minutes, and then over the course of your life, it's forever, and that's why that's why people are jacked up. Right, guys, go ahead and relax. Uh, let's go ahead and while we're on our back here, take care of our traps. So for these, I'll get up close into the camera right here. So Luca, we're going right here in the upper back. You guys at home, you can see right here in the trap. You're gonna lie down on top. It's not gonna feel very good. Spoiler, spoiler alert. This is not going to be your favorite, but it'll make you feel better. All right guys, so find that nasty. If it kind of fell out of place when you were lying back, that's okay, you can do this cool, cool thing with your legs called like walking, where you just walk it back until you find an area that doesn't feel so hot or does feel hot and we're going to keep that palm facing your body we're going to reach up and over the head and try to get oh, <laughs> our fingers down to the ground hang out here for a second think about how much you dislike me and then bring it back up oh man so this probably doesn't feel good if you work at a desk computer which both of us do and or if you do functional exercise, then do things like thrusters and handstand push-ups and overhead squats. How about that, right? A lot of trap action. Ugh. So we need to make sure that we take care of our traps so that they take care of us when we want to do more cool things in our fitness life. Oh my God. So guys, try to breathe. Try to be as positive as you can. Laughing about it makes it feel better. Laugh at my pain. <laughs> Alright guys, everyone take it to that back position we're gonna hang out here. We're just gonna embrace the suck for not a minute, but more than a few seconds. Just breathe guys. Try to let your shoulder relax as much as you can. Let the weight of your body drape over. Take a few seconds here. 
think about what just happened to us, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. At the end there, when you're sitting there, it doesn't feel terrible. It's kind of like Stockholm Syndrome. You just uh, get used to the torture, and you fall in love with your captor. <laughs> All right, we're, we're going to do it again. That's why people keep coming back and take the class with us, because it's terrible. But they're like, <laughs> we love you, Andre and Sarah. It hurts so much, but we love you. We love you. All right, guys. All right, uh, you don't have to do it here. Other side, find your trap nasty and uh, do stuff. Oh, trap nasty. Trap nasty. Oh. Yeah. They call me trap nasty. <laughs> trap nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy that album. I'd stream that on Spotify. <laughs> Speaking of Spotify, my one friend, uh, Travis, who goes by Kane uh, as a rapper, he was telling me about um, Spotify. So if you have a friend, or if you know anyone, or if you just like an artist, they get paid every time that you play their song. So sometimes I'll just like put his album on and just leave it on repeat, even if I'm not like listening to music. Just send some money this way, you know? So, yeah. Oh, someone small like this. So when Trap Nasty drops her uh, new album yeah. called Snatches and Snacks, <laughs> make sure to make sure to play it uh, on repeat. Oh, oh, there we go. Snatches and Snacks. All right, guys, let's do one more, and we're gonna hang out there. Ready? Three, two, one. Find wherever it doesn't feel good and hang out. Oh, this doesn't feel better. Seeing light. Well, there's a light there. There are lights directly <laughs> Yes, in yes. House. But it's a blinding light coming from the inside of my mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there you go. You should just do remixes of all like the old classic oh, rock songs. Really yeah. Funny. Yeah. Despite my hip hop already things, it'll just be remixes of all of the Queen songs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, breathe, guys. We're almost done with this. Almost. Three, two, one. And free yourself. Sit on up. Let's take a moment. Think about what just happened to us. Whoa. We did it. Congrats. Okay, now we're gonna do our lats. Okay, so this one's also gonna hurt. Sorry. So for these, we're going into uh, like the armpit on the outside. These big wings, guys. Yours might not be as large as mine, but that's okay. We all have them. All right, so we're just gonna lie down on our side here. Sexy, sexy pose. Hello, ladies. All right, so we're on our, oh, we're on our lats, and we're just kind of rolling. You don't really have to roll. Kind of just find, if you find the spot, you can just sit there, and it'll, it'll do what it's supposed to do. Yeah, I feel it. Try to have your palm facing towards us or wherever you're facing. You can use this other hand to take a little bit of weight off or to really let yourself sink into it if you are a mobility gangster. This hurts a lot. It's not as, not as much as a trap, I don't think. I don't know. It's a different kind of feeling. Yeah. And so what you can... It's still pain. It's still pain. What you can do here is you can kind of roll forward and backward, kind of like this. Oh. Oh no, I found an area that feels worse. <laughs> I thought I was in the worst of it. Oh, that's not better. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just hang out, guys. Breathe, happy thoughts, puppy dogs, ice cream. The weather is turning. I can't wait for that foliage. Sweater weather. Sweater weather. It's my favorite season. Hopefully it lasts more than like two weeks. The Northeast is notorious for having hot ass summer and then we get like two weeks of fall and then it's just cold and miserable until March. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow like my left hand started spasming even though we were on our right side. I don't know. 
I think I'm having a stroke. Was that a heart attack? Is that a heart attack when like your left side goes numb? I think, I think it's a heart attack. Yeah, I think I'm having a heart attack. That'd Based be, on what I've seen in the movies. That would, that would be funny, but not actually funny if I had a heart attack. Well, <laughs> it, would, it, would be, it would be kind of funny. Just... Men's Health Magazine fitness trainer has a heart attack doing broga. Doing broga. broga. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yeah. 2020 is a great year, man. That's a good way to go. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh. So you guys know what to do here. Find your, um, find your zen. That's what we can, that's what we should call it. Okay. Yeah. Instead of saying find your, your trap nasty, find your, find your zen. Find your zen. Find your zen. If we rename, it's all about branding. Yeah. If we brand pain as happiness, <laughs> people will embrace the happiness. That's basically what CrossFit is. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. Go into the pain cage. Oh man, I just rolled over it. Uh, uh, oh, oh, my. Just rolled over my zen, and that is, uh, felt special. My, my zen is making my shoulder shake. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's like when you're a kid, right? Like when you fall down, if you're, uh, if your parents make a big deal out of it, then you're likely to grow up as a person who's like afraid of everything. But if they laugh and smile, you're like, okay, yeah, this is cool. Yeah. Oh. And let us free ourselves. Okay. That was good. That was good. Okay. Let's take care of our legs. All right. Um, you know what to do here. Let's start with quads. What do you want to start with, the top or the bottom, sir? You know, we've been starting at the bottom. Let's, let's work our way down. Started from the top, now we're here. It's kind of like uh, 150 Bay. We started on the third floor, worked our way down. Yeah, yeah. Upgrading by downgrading. All right, guys. So for this one, we're going right in the crease of your hip. Luca's taking a water break. I should do that too. I think I'm, I think I'm having a stroke. All right, guys. So right in the crease of your hip. Water on the, will help. Water on the, always fixes strokes. Out. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> Trust me, I have I have friends who are doctors. All right. So let's lie down. On that hip, uh, the other leg can kind of come up as a little uh, anchor and to give you a little bit more weight onto that hip. We're just gonna hang out here. Look for, oh, <laughs> yeah. Find your zen. Find your zen. Oh, man, that's This is way better than it has been. Yeah. I can't even find my zen. That's good. That means Oh, All right, guys, and then once you find it, you can kind of bend and extend your back leg. Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm. My zen feels like something. In other news, uh, we're also going to get a TV installed right there above the whiteboard. <gasps> so you won't have to write the workouts anymore. That's exciting. Very exciting. It's going to save like three minutes of Sarah's life every day. So, middle of your thigh, right around here. We're gonna go on top. Here we go, guys. Oh. 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 Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey to yourself. I can't even bend my leg. <laughs> That's how good it feels. All right. This is new. This oh. is a new episode of Broga where Sarah is surprisingly doing better than Andre on yeah. this one. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh. You're doing great, Luca. You're crushing it. <laughs> <laughs> Did this give us a middle finger? Or a no, finger? it just a thumbs up. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Angela flicked me off at the park. The oh, other yeah? Time. <laughs> That's all. I was like, whoa, oh. okay. Who wrote this work? I guess it was a good work. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Sarah wrote it. Sarah writes Saturday, sorry. And give me one more bend and extend and free yourself do a push-up. Okay, cool. Final, final piece. We're gonna go. Yeah, look at that's a nice face, Luke. <laughs> it's so fun, I miss seeing people's faces. That's the one thing about like masks, you can't tell who's in despair or not. <laughs> I like seeing those. I like, I like to see what people are made of. All right, 
<laughs> so next up we're going just above the knee on the inside same deal find your net find your zen find your zen find your zen and then bend it oh this feels fine this feels good this feels great it's not even a problem today my inner quads feel great huzzah because i haven't started the 20 rep max back squat program is that your next journey uh, I, got, I have a lot of journeys I'm thinking about. I'm trying to find the most, I, I'm trying to find the right journey for me. It might be a combination of journeys that I have to go on to do stuff, but I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Oh my God. And everyone relax. Yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm debating. Every, every year, every year has seasons. Um, my training is, my training is no different. So um, there's usually a point in the year where I, begrudgingly let my conditioning fall to the wayside and I just focus on getting like really stupid strong and it works but then like getting back into conditioning shape is no fun <laughs> so you got to find that balance all right guys let's go to the hip on the other side same thing starting on the outside lay down on top so I haven't decided what I want to do yet but winter is a good time to balking season bruh balking season bruh it's time bulk. yeah bruh we're all in masks we have everything covered up why not oh yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Ooh. 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 Oh, oh my God. Oh, our new, uh, I think our, our new barbells might be. Something came in yesterday. We got some new, like, little plates, and I think we got some new lighter barbells for our newer members who need some training bars. So we got, I think, four new ones. And some are older members. Because yesterday there was a, a class where one of our members asked, Can I use a training bar? And I was like, Of course. Yeah. And then I went, yeah. Actually, no. Because we don't have any more. <laughs> Sorry. And by yes, I mean no. no. But you can you can use a PVC pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the same. You can use an, and the axle bar is actually weigh less than thirty five pounds. Not very helpful no. for snatching. snatching. <laughs> no. But, but if you can get good at axle bar snatches, man. Wow. You'll be a gangster with your wheel bar. Yeah. All right, guys, go ahead and relax. Let's go into the non fun very terrible bad time area, uh, middle of your thigh on the outside. Search and destroy, find your zen, let's go. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, that's good. Let's breathe, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, bro tip for anyone at home, if you need equipment, go to walmart.com. They've got a good amount of stuff. Not a great amount of stuff, but a good amount of stuff compared to many other authorized retailers of fitness accessories. And it costs way less than a Rogue Fitness or others. Oh. Or we can all go on a road to our home state. Oh, H. Oh, no. If you pick it up from the warehouse, it's cheaper, right? Not really. But <laughs> you don't have to pay shipping and you get to have a wonderful car ride. Like an eight hour car ride? Oh, well, like more than 11. Oh. We're having a great time, guys. <laughs> Walmart has zero dollar shipping, so. So there's that. There's that. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's go just above the knee on the inside. And let's finish off this trap nasties and finding. Ooh. I feel like I'm like really right today. Because it doesn't hurt? Oh, I mean, there's, it's not. But it's not as, not as terrible. But that's that's what happens when you do soft tissue work with regularity. It gets mo better over time. Yeah, I remember the first time I did stuff with a lacrosse ball, like I cried. I didn't, but I was very close because I was in front of a bunch of like guys when I was training the Equinox. <laughs> and this, 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 one, this one I was first learning about soft tissue work, and it's like all the like older trainers who've been doing it for you know a few years and they knew a bunch of stuff that I didn't know, and uh, they're like, yeah, try this. And they had me do something with my calf, and I was like. <gasps> Oh, well, calves, forget about it. Yeah. That's, I mean, it's... You have somebody else mash your calves? Oh, disgusting. Oh, man. Well, if, and if you think about it, the first time that you ever mash your calves, go ahead and relax. However old you are, that's that many years of you walking, running, jumping, playing, without you having ever... Like, when, when, when in your life have you ever done dedicated calf stretching, like, with a ball until you were told to do so by me or someone else? All right, guys. No more balls. Yeah, let's uh, let's finish it off. 
Um, let's do, we got time for a really quick shoulder stance here. So let's go on to your back. Use your hands to support your lower back and bum. Get those feet up into the air, air. We're just gonna hang out here using our elbows and triceps as a little support base here. Looking straight up at the sky. You can close your eyes too if you want to, that's fine. Can do some bicycle kicks. Bicycle, bicycle. Cardio crossing. <laughs> Just like doing the assault bike, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like it. Same, same stimulus. And let's drape the legs over, go into plow pose, stretch out that neck. Um, when I was in one of the grades in high school, one of the teachers was a uh, like a marathon runner, and he was I think he was a physics teacher, and so, but he didn't really understand much. Like he was very smart. He was one of those guys where he was like very smart, but was a terrible teacher because he could not relate to people who weren't smart. So anyway, um, he was talking to one of our more talented track athletes, and was like. Walking a mile does the same thing as running a mile. And then they had a very heated discussion about how that is not true. It is not true. It is not true. <laughs> do 20 thrusters unbroken or do four sets of five and tell me how you feel. It's a way different spin is. Intensity. Intensity. That's where I live. Uh, and let's bring it back. Tuck those knees and let's roll a little bit. Snap, crackle, pop that back. Guy, and I have, I have a friend who lives out in Portland. She's a big runner. And I, I had to like fight with her over for years to get her to like try doing even just like a body weight CrossFit style workout. She's like, I just, I just have to run to get a sweat. And let's go side to side. And then 10 minutes of squats, lunges, hollow rocks and push-ups later, she's like, oh, I get it now. That's all it takes, guys. But I'm going to sell it to you, you guys know. But that's a plug. Go hard when you can, because it'll make you a fitter person, it'll make your workout more worthwhile, and if you made the choice to get up and come to the gym, you might as well get the most out of it, right? Y'all. Yes. Very good. And relax. Let's finish it up. All right, guys, bottom of the squat. Let's finish off kind of how we started. Right hand down, left hand up, reach for the sky. Oh, I feel that. My, my, I feel like much more better here, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And switch. It's like the uh, car sales. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. And switch again. And last time, switch. Both hands go up. Hold it there. Five seconds here. Four, three, two. Whoa, and stand it up. Woo! Awesome job, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, Luca. Glad to see a human kind of in person. See you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye, Luca.